<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new dawn and a new day. I'm emerging out of my pit at 10.30, two days in a row. You might be like, oh Tom, look at you, getting out of bed at a reasonable hour. You go get it, man. Well, the reason why I'm awake at this time is because I'm waiting for the bedroom fitters to come to assess the situation. They didn't make it yesterday and didn't turn up. So I'm hoping that today they're going to turn up, assess this bed situation, give me an uh, answer as to what they're going to do, how long it's going to take, and give me a final deadline. But before anything happens, it is the morning. Ah, you... I went like that, and I just paper cut the end of my finger. Ouch! Not a huge fan of that situation, but it is the morning, which means it is time for the most important meal of the day. Breakfast. All right. The bedroom guys are just leaving. They turned up, and they've gone over the job. We've gone over everything that needs doing. So great success in the essence of, I believe every single thing that needs doing is now on an official tick list of Needs to be done and will be done, so that's good. But I've now also said that I want to get a contract written up with these guys with a final, final deadline, a new contract, that they have to stick to and adhere to because with these things constantly ticking on and people not turning up yesterday, that sort of stuff, it's wasting my time and other people's time. And if they, if they just kept doing that, I'd be like, mate, it could go on over six months. And they'd be like, yeah, well, we've not finished it. We're going to come and do it tomorrow, but then not come tomorrow. And then come and do it tomorrow, but then not come tomorrow. It's like, yeah, that can't go on. So I want a contract written up. I want to get it sorted out. And I want to know that this bedroom is going to be done by a certain deadline. And if it isn't, then there's repercussions of it. Like, you no, know, get up a, a legal contract. They get fined for a day's missed or something like that. But something needs to be in place to make sure that these guys turn up to the job on the days and times they say they're going to do it. So it's only fair. And if anything, it's just good business to stick to when you say something. So, right. Glad they came. Glad we got that out of the way. They know what needs to be done. I know what needs to be done. By the end of the today, I was told I will get a final deadline. Showered and changed, and um, there's no excuses. There's no excuses whatsoever. Because now I have this bed in this other room organized and set up. I can now put all the bedding in here, which was filling up that back room. I can start to organize this the shelves, the cupboards, the everything. Um, I think I'm going to give this old bed to Alice and Carl because they said they were interested in it. So that helps me out. And these bits of clothing now that I've gone over it all with the bedroom guys, nothing. Oh, damn it. Actually, it does. Drat. I was going to say nothing needs to be done with this. But it actually does. This cupboard here, the panel has to come off to put this in. It's like a motor driver or something for the camera outside. But I was going to try and say, I might try and get away with putting them clothes you just saw inside here just to give me my hallway back. That said, there is nothing wrong with this wardrobe here. I've actually gained an awful lot of space with this new bedroom. I used to have, what was it, the, the, the one, two... The one, two over there, which were quite big wardrobes anyway, but these are almost like the exact same size. And then all I had was these corner units, which really didn't have much. They were like shelved units, weren't they? That really didn't like store much. But now I've got extra double hangers to be able to put stuff in. So I'm actually going to stay really organized. Like one cupboard's going to be all syndicate original clothing. Then one cupboard's going to be going out shirts, suits, booted, shoes, all that sort of stuff in the bottom. And then one's going to be, because I, I just always wear the clothing, All Saints. I know that sounds weird, but I own so much All Saints clothing, not like weird flex, just, it's just like my go-to favourite going out clothes until uh, the Nightlife Syndicate original uh, stuff's here. Um, that is going to be separately for that. So I think I might start going through this. And there's a lot of stuff, even though it's a memory, like if anyone remembers, I don't know how you'd pull a clip of this, Orion. I don't think you'd be able to, but if anyone remembers me going to Disneyland, uh, yeah, this is about eight years ago, Orion, and getting this Buzz Lightyear hoodie, it's a lovely memory, but I just don't wear it. So anyway, getting on with it, and um, if I would have actually, uh, you know, got on with this yesterday a bit quicker, um, I would have found, fuming dot booming, I would have found the GoPro mount that I wanted yesterday. Turns out I didn't actually use this when I went to the actual uh, shark diving. Didn't even use it and they wouldn't have let me take it in for health and safety reasons, which I kind of assumed was going to be the case. But 
Now I know where it is from being organised. Now I know where my, like, units and stuff for my GoPro charging are. Like, where is it? I've got, like, a GoPro charging block there. Now I've got this all ready. I can set up a permanent power charging station that never moves. I always want my stuff charging and ready to go at all times. So my job on this fine Saturday is to tidy up. <laughs> All right, so the room is now looking better. This has got to be one of the best guest rooms I could ever offer someone. You've got a bed this big, gigantic bed, it, 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 and the bedding, amazing. Then, <laughs> a 78-inch 4K TV, which you may notice is not central to the room. Uh, don't worry about it. Them lamps are in the wrong place anyway. Well, to be fair, what the hell is going on? All right, scenery change. I'm at Starbucks because I'm going to the cinemas and I'm watching the new gangster film. If it came up there, then that would have been perfect. I'm watching the new gangster film. What is it? The Gentleman. Mate, that film was amazing. So, Stephen, if you want a new place to go and stay for the night, you're more than welcome. Big bed, big TV, you'd love it. But anyway, we need to go. What do you know about legendary cinema -ness? I'm gonna say this right now. Are you ready for Tom's film review? Let me put let me put you down right there, right here. Even Mona gonna agree. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. The gen if you love gangster films, the gentleman is absolutely incredible. But I needed a break from tidying organizing organizing the house. That's done. I'm now back, ready, collect, calm with Mona. And continuing it. So, upstairs I go to tidy the house. Oh, yay. Saving the environment. He says with 19... Th did I really leave all the lights on? God damn it! All right, let's assess the situation. What, what am I going to do? do with this mattress? Um, I, I, I don't really know because the thing is, like, that bed needs a mattress that big. And that bed needs a mattress that big. I don't really need this mattress anymore so i really don't know what to do with it ah wait i have a plan seeing as though i'm giving alice that old bed frame and carl i think i think they're having it they'll probably need a mattress for it as well so that's fine also this isn't a poo stain someone like like to point out it's actually a dirty footprint when <laughs> i'm gonna blame myself i walked in with a dirty shoe because look when the when all the rack and everything was on the floor in there i stood on the mattress and i didn't realize i put Dirty footprints all over it, so uh, Yeah Tears what it is now. I don't know if I've shown you this before But this is the pop-up mirror which right now looks a little bit slanted so that needs straightening up, but where's Where's, where's, the, where's the button? Yeah, check this. It's not the fastest thing in the world But it doesn't matter. It's the thing. It's the thing of like you can make it go up and you can make it go down So when this is up, this will be like a nice flush unit looking fresh and this will just disappear into it so not only is this a, you know, like a, a mirror to get ready in or whatever, you know, spike your hair up, a desk to clutter in. It's also really useful because my bedroom window here looks predominantly onto the street. But I've obviously got trees and a gate up and everything like that. But it's still like onto the main road. But when this is up, it kind of gives like a nice divide between road, trees, fences like blinds and then this it's like an extra nice step of privacy which is a bit strange to say but i like it it's a nice little idea i had i thought you know what boom we're having it so yeah i think it looks fresh i think it looks clean and ta-da la mona la lisa what do you think about that hey <laughs> actually to say it's i don't know i, I think that if it if it was straight, I think the angle of it would be looking straight at me. I think it's a bit leaning like this way towards me. Otherwise, you'd fully see me. I think, or it might just be a bit low because uh, of the height of it. But yeah, look at that. You can you can actually see your outfit in it. But when the new doors come with the full mirror on it, you'll be fully able to see yourself there and there. And the the mirrors that I was going to get put on here, we've decided against them because when you walk in the room, right? When you walk in, you're like, Ooh, oh, oh, goddamn, goddamn. Open the door. Wait. Open the door. Oh, yeah. You don't really want to see a mirrored reflection of this unit because you'll see a TV and it'll, it'll just look weird. You want to see like one side being one side and then you want to see one side being the other side. Also, I think. The best thing about all these lights is you can turn them off individually or good night. You can turn them all off at the same time. And I didn't know I can actually put them on an app for my phone. Didn't even know. 
brilliant. But okay, what am I can take? Right, excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, coming through. All right, seeing as though I've nailed this room, and don't get any ideas that you think something's going on with that over there, I moved this cream because, no joke, yes, I used to moisturize. You don't do it anymore, but now it just looks dodgy. I've got tissues and moisturizer by the bed, and I know what you a lot are like, so don't be getting no ideas. Goddamn freaky people of the internet. But right, curtains are closed. This bedroom feels like a home. It actually does. I'm tempted to rip them off the wall, and then when Tony comes, get him to paint that wall, because they just look a bit random, but I'll end you... I'll Speaking of random, the, what, the, what, the, what the goddamn pissing hell happened here? I, I'm sure there's an explanation for it, but why are these wires... Oh, why are they out the wall? I actually really don't know. I, I think I knew at the time, but I actually don't know right now. But because inside this bag, I managed to find when I went to Iceland... The number one West, okay, sign that the hitchhiker I picked up. Orion, right, roll a clip of the, the hitchhiker. We have picked up a hitchhiker and we are driving five hey. hours, so we've got him for like two hours. It's a complicated German name. It's like, where are you from? England, England. Manchester. Tom. Hey. Nice to meet you, bro. How are you doing? Hey, Tom. Tom. Hi. Tom, Jeff, and this is Declan. Okay, hey. Welcome. So, how do we say your German name? You know, I know, and when I lived in the US, they always say like, okay, when you yearn for something, like you yearn for chocolate, yeah. you really like chocolate, yeah, that's yeah. how you pronounce it. Yearn. Oh, that's easy. J-O-E. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I can mess it up. Brilliant. He let me keep the sign and I managed to keep it intact, which I'm absolutely stoked about. Oh, wait a minute. He wrote his email on the back. So I'm going to have to somehow get in touch with him. Jornostak at gmx.de and just dox him or anything like that. I didn't, I didn't say it all. But... How awesome is that? So I managed to keep that. So I kind of want to maybe put it in a frame on a bit of a scrapbook from Iceland or something like that. I think it might be nice and cute. But seeing as though I've done a lot of progress on this room, we're going to say good night to this room. Night, night. Thank you. This room, it's not the tidiest, but I have a floor. Next stop. Excuse me. Come on, come, excuse me. Come through. I'm claiming my goddamn office back. You know what I'm tempted to do for New Year, new, improved me not new me i'm almost tempted to take this all off move everything right move this desk over to there on that wall because okay now this will make me less fit which i'm not fit in the slightest but think about it every time i have to walk in this room yeah i have to walk in and around the desk it's just not efficient and it's like when someone comes in like hey tom i have to get up go around oh wait one sec one sec one sec hey mate how you doing right if I move it from there to there, I'm not losing any plugs because I'm using all of it off one plug. In fact, I'm putting it closer to them plugs so I don't have wires going along the floor. And I can run the internet cables along the side. Okay. So I gain smart m movement properties for the room, but then it also gives me an excuse to tidy it all and reassemble and re-clean up this wiring combobulation. Discombobulated! So I think first things first, we need to get this room disconnected, um, move this desk over, and I think, we, I think we should be good. Let me just check by sitting here if there's any downsides to this. These cables going here in this room, in this way, are only there because this one plug, this one plug going to the extension thing over there, powers the whole thing. There's no advantage, I don't, I don't think of this desk being on this side of the wall. Let's move it. Cleaning out the office is going well. It's just reminding me that I have just have an absurd amount of smoke machines and four gallons of uh, liquid for it. So selling smoke machine, £2.50. I think this is a cracking idea what I'm doing because I think I'm going to set myself up knowing what I'm doing. Moving forward. Hey, look at this. Already looks it, looking much better. You know what? I'm gonna do one even better. Where's my Uber? I'm Ubering. Ooh, also fun fact, I was two seconds away from making a decision before I clicked record earlier to putting my new office in, well, new, new, I was gonna put my office in here. So like, it would be pretty sick. I don't know of many YouTubers who've got an office where you walk in through like hidden bookshelves. And no joke, I'd, I'd get like an electrical device made where, because these are just, you know, 
like this, but if I could, I'm sure I could get a device made where I press a button or pull a, like a book and it go me and open up. And this was going to be where my office is going to be, but I'm, I'm not rushing into this design or idea just yet. Because we're getting shit done this year, hold that thought. The reason why I'm down here in the first place is because... Can I interest you in a smoke machine? No, that's not why we're here. Another smoke machine! No, it's not that. Um, another smoke machine! It's not that either. Uh, I'm trying to find my Hoover! <laughs> Bev! She doesn't even... <laughs> I've got a Hoover that Bev can use, and she doesn't even use it. She brings this adorable, lovely Henry the Hoover. But that then leaves me questioned. Where the is mine? Are you in here? No, it wouldn't fit. What? I swear. Do you know when you've walked past something a million times, that you're like, oh, there's a Hoover, oh, there's that. And then when you go to look for it, it's not where you think it is. Well, that's the problem I'm having right now. Oh! Ah! I knew I'd seen it. Stop hiding there full of sawdust, you little shit. How full are you? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Graham, son. All right. Let's get... Oh, wait, I need to move the desk first. But then let's get Hoover in here. All right. So let's move you over here. This is for charity. Not, not the Hoover in the the, the... the scarves and stuff. All right. Has the vlog uploaded? Yes. Okay. I got... 30 minutes before it needs to be live. Apparently, I left my computer running. Uh, sweet. Uh, time to turn everything off. And... Disconnect. Goodbye now. This is the last time this computer will be in this position. It's taking a whole shift to the right hand side. Yay. PlayStation off. Guys, it's been real. It has been real. Thank you. God's God God's love. God's res God God's speed. Shush. Turn off. Wait. <laughs> Why have you not turned off? No! 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 Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Why is it not turning off? Really? Changing this entire room layout has got one key purpose, like one upgrade. Ever since I've had this office, I've always had the problem of this cupboard. It's filled with stuff that I use and need, but there's one cupboard in particular that I can't get in, which is that bottom one. Now, you might not see it from here. Let me give you a closer look. Yeah, but it is so tightly against the carpet that it never pulls out. Pull out game, not, wait, not strong, 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 not strong. Anyway, we need to put this on something like an elevated surface to be able to use this bottom drawer. So, because it's going from over here to over there, there's plug sockets on that side and this side, both double, double sockets. So, I'll be able to power all this still. Even more so, I'll then have access to hide the wires along the wall here, uh, which will be nice, as well as the Ethernet. See what I'm saying? So, we can, like, tuck this in down here along the wall rather than this. Now, I just don't know how I'm going to elevate that because this carpet is so thick. I don't really know if I've got any, like, wood laying around. I would say I'd do from the bedroom being done up, but there isn't really anything laying around because it's all been tidied up. So hmm, we, need to, uh, we need to move this and then gain access to that drawer. So let's take all this off. Let's move the drawer. Let's move the desk over. And we are one step closer to a new bedroom. Office. I feel like I need to capture this on camera so Bev knows I didn't pay someone else to do it. Oh, no, no, no. All me. Look at the color of this carpet. It's black. It's absolutely black. Oh my God. I'm doing a good old job of cleaning it though. Oh yes. Ooh, it's hard at one handed. That's all I'm saying, okay? All right, I'm taking a risk that this, right, is the perfect size, if not almost perfect size for that unit to sit on. Don't think it'll stop it from fully like opening easily, but we can try, so I'm gonna get a standing knife and get ready to cut it a bit shorter. But I'm under the impression that we are doing the right thing. So let's attempt it. All right, how close is this? Oh, do you know what? It's almost perfect if it like rests. I don't know if there's a full bottom unit under it or it's just hollow. I think it might be hollow and I'm gonna have to prop the back legs up and the top and the bottom edges there. We'll try it, see if it works. First impressions, it actually helps it open. It drags a bit, but now it's getting stuck on the cardboard. 
one sweaty amount of mess later, I chucked everything off the top of it, threw it on its side, looked at the bottom, there's a panel. Basically, it opens and closes. It still drags, but at least I can actually open it now with relative ease. Do you know what I've just realized? Why I never put it against the window. I've legit, legitimately just remembered why. It's because when it's summer here, being in that corner, I'm right under the AC vent, so I'm nice and cool, and it's absolutely lovely. And I don't have the beaming sun coming through the window blinds or the curtains, so I can just have them open. But now, during the summer, when I'm sat there, I'm gonna be absolutely, sorry, Queen's playing in the background, getting roasted by the sun, so we'll have to rearrange this another day. But for now, the sun's not really out there, so we'll deal with it. This is why I hate gaming setups sometimes, because the cable management is a nightmare. And then you might be like, no, Tommy, it's really simple. Well, not every single person has a headset wireless unit, a microphone with weight cable, a Go XR. This is just a mix amp, right, for me to control all my audio. And it has four inputs in it. I then got screens with all these USBs. I've got so many USBs. This needs a USB. That needs a USB. That needs two USBs. This needs to be plugged in. Like, there is so goddamn many million accessories here. It is a nightmare. I am not convinced I have set this up correctly in the slightest because my audio setup... Oh, well, it didn't even turn on uh, because of this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if I've somehow managed to get it working. Like, the, I just don't understand how I'm supposed to make this wire setup look good with things like this. Like, yeah, you can tape it to it or something or zip wire it to it, but it's just, it's just a nightmare. All right. I've decided this is the best it's going to get. When I say I tried to make this as good a job as possible, I mean, I tried. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my clean and improved office. Cable management, kind of awful, but it's definitely an improvement for me. I know I shouldn't be starting off by showing you this first, but that is the neatest I could honestly get it. I'm not joking. Until I get, like, cable ties and stuff like this, this shit is a nightmare. But I've now at least got the cable running in this sleeve and not, like, all over the place looking, like, it looks pretty good, to be fair, like, compared to earlier. So I've got all this floor space now, which is empty and beautiful. I've got my setup over here, which is looking fresh. Uh, fire extinguisher on deck, you know, no, you never know, just in case. Did manage to get the audio sorted, which I'm pretty happy with. What I'm more happy about with this setup now is this is great, okay? Setup is looking good. Like, everything's working. Mic, sound, computer, PlayStation, internet, everything works. The one thing I'm really happy with is this. The station I've got over here now. Now, this station, if I, like, put this down, I'm going to fill these drawers accordingly with, like, GoPro label it. Like, put stickers on, like, GoPro, blah, 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 drone. So, my drone's going to go in the bottom drawer, all GoPro stuff and, like, battery charges, the rest of it. But now, this is never going to be unplugged. I'm never going to move it. It's always going to stay there. And these cables, I have spares of every single one of them. Now, so when I want to come to go and get a GoPro battery, all I'm going to do is lift that out. And I think I'm actually going to, like, glue this to it so I can literally just flick it out. Like, I, I, I want this to be such a permanent thing. I never want to lose it. So I've got a permanent GoPro charger. I've got a permanent iPhone charger. I've got a USB-C charger, which also is a GoPro cable, but it's a USB-C, which is absolutely perfect to Mundo. So I'll have all my stuff ready and charged to go whenever I want to do something. Like, no excuses like the other day of like, oh, I wish I would have had this on my hand. Not there. I am on air and ready to rock and roll. That's what I'm saying. We're getting shit done. We're getting motivated. And you see, the thing is, I've got this space now, which I'm either tempted to keep this space or I'm tempted to almost put a chair there. Now, it's a bit of a weird one. Oh, by the way, you know, like I was like, oh, yeah, we'll clean the house. Yeah, the house didn't get any cleaner. If anything, it got worse with like little things that I ended up pulling out. I still haven't put in, when you talk about cables, I've not even put in the speakers back into the room because... Eh, Logistical nightmare just trying to make everything look cool. One thing that I'm really happy with now, now though, is because I've moved that, that out of the way, I can now hang a piece of art on the wall. So depending on what I want to hang, I can hang something pretty goddamn sweet. I've got like this cool, um, amazing Spider-Man, the Sinister Syndicate little uh, artwork that my mum got me, which is pretty dope. I've got the, um, 
the the sign print of Robin Williams' uh, Aladdin Genie, which is dope. Um, I've got this bad boy over here, which is a syndicate line that a fan made me. Evan Eckhart and I designed this together. And then this also off my mum, which is a Life's Too Short Make the Most of It t-shirt, framed, which I feel like this should go up just because it's like, one, the most grandiose, and two, it's the biggest size frame to go up on there. But um, as you notice, this wall is filthy. And if you're wondering why it's filthy, like <laughs> that's five years, well, not five years, say three years of my office being laid out here against the wall and me putting my feet up against the wall. I'm not joking, shoes, the lot. I was like, I never look at that wall. No one sees it on camera. I just put my feet up against it. So that's why that wall is so dirty. I've just wore it away over the years. So when Tony comes in two weeks time, I'll get him to paint this one wall because it shouldn't be a problem because it's just one wall. And then that way he can deal with any of the cracks that are in the ceiling from like the house, like moving and adjusting. But I'm really, really happy with how this has come together. Again, cable management is a bit of a pain in the ass. This cable here, what I'm going to do is I need a hammer to knock down the carpet nails below because I really do not want to risk like messing this cable up. And then I'm going to feed this underneath the carpet and we'll see how we go going into the summer because if in the summer it is just too beltering hot in this room and i can't stand it then we may have to move it but right now i'm liking this because i can still see people walking in i can put a piece of art there which will look sick i've got now with when i'm streaming and recording i've now got a different backdrop because that section of the book that i used to read uh, sorry i read steal like an artist people could see this bit now they've got a whole new different aspect to look at the book to read, use your hands. Like, you know, like different little things. Like, where's the, where's the, stay out of debt, you know, school yourself. Like, these little motivational things, I think, are awesome. So, yeah, pretty, pretty excited uh, for the fans to see a bit more of this, like when I'm streaming and stuff like that. But there it is. I got the stream rocking and rolling. I will actually, even though this is like a backwards stepping stone now, but I, I do need to get a PC upgrade because I'm going to get a bigger PC that has all the USB slots in it like 20 usb slots in it usb 3 so i don't need external usb power devices because down there that's an external like usb hub which is great and everything but then that needs a cable going into my pc then a power cable which takes up a plug and it's just access that i don't need or excess that i don't need so the more i can limit the cables the better these annoying cables this is a charger one just for my headphones so that's just convenience for me because even though it's laying around it doesn't look like prim and proper i just know that's convenient and i need it this big one here is actually for putting the desk up and down and to be on to be honest is it even working yeah to be honest i don't even use putting the desk up and down as much as i thought i would i just don't so i'm tempted to just take that up underneath the desk and then that's one cable that's just not showing so hmm, yes um, i'm very happy with it i don't know what you guys think if you think i've done a good job leave a like rating there's again the cable management i know I, I, i'll have to like watch videos of like little pro tips of how to do it and also uh, this may seem like nothing, but I used to have one of these microphones that Hex gave me, but you'll notice this is all clean compared to my last one because my earlier one, which I've just switched out, ba -ba, was all dirt. Wait, well, you might not look it, but it was all dusty and faded and ripped from when I had the cats and the bear and everything. But now I've got a fresh one on. So yeah, a little, little upgrade there. I've kind of like upgraded the setup. There's one thing for this setup that I could do to upgrade it one step further, which is to get the, you know, the camera that I've got in a tripod that's in the shower that looks like a porno set. Well, I could get that, connect this, which is an Elgato cam link, and I could plug that into here um, and then put my big camera up on a tripod, which would be pretty sick. I'd like that because it's a really, really, really good camera. And now I've got space to stand it. It wouldn't really be in the way or anything, but I just really can't be asking more cables. But let me take you downstairs, just, just so you guys and I can decide whether or not I should move this chair up here. Because I got this chair when I was like decorating the house and I got my sofa and my bed. I got it from a place called Stockton's. And Stockton's is known as like a high-end furniture place. And to be honest, you don't really need to go there. You do find some good stuff, but half the time you're like, what is the point of this? It's shock. It's black and silver. No wonder I liked it. But it's such a sleek looking chair. Like, look at it. Mate, it's badass. Like, seriously badass. So, I, I, one second, I'll put, put you over so you can just see me from this. Like, so you can see it. I, I have no idea if you're going to be able to see me. I'm, yeah, I'm probably out of shot already. But, like, I don't know if to move this upstairs as just, like, a little place for me to just chill. You know, unwind and relax. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like you shouldn't work and relax in the same room. That's always kind of like a little thing I've had. You shouldn't, you shouldn't work in the same environment you're relaxing in.
for however many years, I was making YouTube videos out of my dad's bedroom, which, uh, my, my, not my dad's bedroom, my bedroom and my dad's house, which consisted of me waking up, playing, making videos, recording, streaming, all in the same room, then going to bed there. And it just isn't a healthy mentality. I loved it as a kid, but you grew, I grew up to realize like, this just isn't healthy. Working and eating and sleeping in the same room just isn't healthy. You need a divide for your brain to just unplug, relax, and re-energize sort of thing. So the moment my sister moved out, I took on board her room. So I slept in one room and then I worked in the other room. I went an entire 10 feet, but honestly, it made such a mental difference for me. So yes, all right, do I have any monster? No, I don't. Okay. It would honestly be so sick to have my office down here because like if I was streaming or something, I could be like, once that guy's gonna get a drink, <laughs> then just come around here to my bar, it'd be sick. I could do like a podcast, put like a chair behind there, invite guests on and talk to them. I have like a camera up here and like have a chatty talky podcast. It could be sick, but ah, whatever, another day, I'm gonna go upstairs. I feel like today has been a genuinely productive day, like actually genuinely productive. Steve, do you agree? Steve, oh, he's back on, he's back in his foot. Oh, Steve's the I'm gonna start calling you Jabba the Hut. Cause all you do is hide under that hut of yours. But right, oh yeah, this is what I was gonna say. So you know upstairs, I was talking about like my, my setup and wanting more USBs in my computer. I also want my new computer to have the ability to uh, accommodate three screens better. It can, but it can only do two uh, DisplayPort screens. And I don't want three, which is a bit of a big task. Well, well it's not actually. Um, so then that way I can get another monitor up there. Cause look, I got a monitor, you got a monitor, we all got monitors. So yeah, productive day is productive. I think I'm gonna move, should I, is it? No, I was gonna put one of the Apple Watch chargers upstairs so they could charge the watch. So then I've got like a charger for everything laying around, but I need that near my bedside and one down here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to order another one. All I need is a hammer, one nail, and I, can hang a painting up because I'm sat here and I'm like, man, I love this. I'm almost tempted to like carry that wallpaper on around there, but then I probably look like I'm in a mental asylum. So I need a, I need a painting on that wall now. Uh -huh. Time to get shit done. Looks like I'm ripping a nail out of the wall from somewhere. So Ming Mong. All right, manly bench is manly. All right, I just now need a nail. Hmm. Oh my god, I nearly stood on that and broke it. Okay, just had an idea. I've got this, right? I still want to put a paint in there, but I've got this and I've got screws. I wonder if that'd look pretty sick there. There's a bit of a, I don't know, wall fill. It's kind of like the perfect thing to put there, isn't it? My mind lets me down 99% of the time, but when I just give it a second, I swear I've got like a photographic memory. I've just found, I remembered, a drawer full of screws and nails in my bedroom from when they dismantled my old stuff. They left it in this drawer. Perfect. <laughs> I have the setup, and if anyone breaks in, I'm gonna beat your ass down, bitch. Beautiful, look at it. I got it on display. A massive shout out to my boy Scott for this little bracket mount thing. Thank you very much. Looking very nice. If I ever, if it gets a bit uncentralized, by the way, balanced it with that thing when I was putting it on the wall, the, 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 mat, the mount bracket thing, but you can just adjust it. I just think I need to give it a bit of a polish because it's all shiny, but suede, a shout out to my boy. I've got the syndicate print on the back of it. One of one, and it's now looking good. All right, there we go. We've got it up. Sweet. So no joke, I've been tearing, tearing my house upside down to try and complete my ultimate charging station. Come here, I think you're there. Now, I know in my mind somewhere I've seen like what seems to be like a flat platform base that I can just place my iPhone on to do wireless charging. Now the reason I want this is so one, I can add it to my base over there in case I don't want to hardwire charge it, you know, like having to pick it up, plug it in, I can just drop it on it. More importantly, when I'm at my desk set up here, this is where I'm most likely gonna to want to just say, throw my phone down like there on the side and it'd be charging instead of me having to plug it into my computer and it connect and make the noise and I just can't be asked that each time. So I'm like, right, a necessity to fix it. I know, I see one in my house, you know, like, I'm like I swear I got like a picturesque memory of knowing where things are. I went through these drawers, seriously, went through them all five times. Couldn't find one. I was like, I go around going crazy. I went through all my bathroom, all my spare rooms, everywhere. On my hunt, I found my original 
Apple Watch charger, the actual official Apple Watch charger, I found it. So now I can actually have a spare charging unit over here in case I want to charge my watch up over here. So that adds to the ultimate charging station. I then was like, do you know what? I'll, um, I'll use a USB-C to USB-C to charge the GoPro char charging section. So like right now I'm using an Apple USB-C to USB-C charging station um, to get it all going. Lo and behold, I found it. But when I opened the drawer all the way to the back, I found the Razer, the Razer, the old first Razer phone. And I was like, oh, awesome, you know, that's cool. Keep that as a little memory. Right next to it, I thought I pulled out another mobile phone, but instead of finding one charging unit, I found two of them, and I thought it was a phone, because they're magnetic, and they were stuck together! I spent hours looking around, probably, but no, I probably spent a full hour looking around the house looking for it. Then, next to my Apple Watch charger, I found another one! So now I've got three! I've got three wireless charging units, which is perfect, because now I can put one down on here, one in here, and then one by my bedside. So when you throw like your phone down on the side, I don't even know if it's actually gonna work. I've got to do a test now, but I'm hoping this might charge it, because I know this is for Mophie, but I know it's also wireless charging, which Apple do, so fingers crossed, let me test. Oh, suck, goddamn sass. It works, so now, not only can I charge USB-C things, iPad, I can wirelessly charge my phone. I can wire charge my phone. I can charge my uh, Apple. Wait, can I wireless charge an Apple Watch? I don't know if this works. Wait, let me put it, try and just lay that on there. Do you charge? No, I don't think it does. Does it need to be touching? <laughs> hey, you working now yet, lad? Okay, maybe not. But either way, I can now, if I want, just throw my phone over here and it charges. Yes. I was about to show you something I'm really proud of being like, oh, genius, I've now got this here and optimizing the USB ports on my PlayStation rather than my computer underneath. I can plug this into my PlayStation and then this actually then charges my phone and works so I don't have to plug it in. So I've basically solved the problem that I had. But when I went to plug in the USB, I was like, what is going on with that USB? Look at the state of that right-hand side USB. That is absolutely disgusting. Uh, USB cleaned, and with the power of the PS4, it has these lines which are actually vents uh, for your PlayStation to breathe. So if you don't want your PlayStation to sound like a Harrier jump jet, don't do what I'm doing. But now, because that sleekly goes around the edge of it, looking mint, I can now have this wirelessly charging my phone. I need to just tuck it under a you know cable manager cable management and all that guys you know you know what I'm like with my cable management so I'm just you know I'm on point with cable management all right so I'll put this lower there so now I can put my phone there so I can see it on display it'll charge and we're all good in the hood ladies and gentlemen I think I've actually completed it I've actually completed it this is this is my office apart from maybe that 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 camera that I was talking about which I'm not too stressed about but maybe I think I've done it. I think this is my... Ah, oh, I need to hoover up that mess from, from installing the bat. But I think I've done it. Setup is all ready to rock and roll. Computer's working, sound's working, streaming's working, headphones working. Ultimate charging unit set up over there with William Wallace saying, Freedom! Mate, I... I think we're good. Oh, and I got a bin as well. Nice. As you guys know, I've always said that this is the best hot chocolate in the existence of man. Cadbury's drinking... Chocolate swirl into hot milk. I forgot that I think last Christmas my mum bought me some of this Sloan's hot chocolate from London, and apparently it's like the amazing balls hot chocolate. That's like high end hot chocolate, something like that. So I've made half a cup of it so it doesn't go to waste, and I'm gonna see what the hell it tastes like. It smells pretty, pretty chocolatey. I tell you something. I put it down for like thirty seconds to let it cool off a little bit, and uh, it's gone darker. Nothing like, no offense, mum, I really appreciate the gift, but absolutely nothing like Cadbury's. Now, because um, my day has been a successful day of hunting chargers and cables and leads around my house, I now have this stupidly long cable, which I'm going to plug in and allow myself to have wireless charging on my bedside cabinet when I go to bed. Perfecto mundo, which I'm pretty stoked for, because in my new bedroom, when I finally get in that, 
Um, oh, that reminds me, I need to check my emails. The guy said they were going to send me over um, an email of um, a contract of a or, or finish date. So I'll be pretty excited. Wait, let me check if I've got that. All right, I actually just checked my email and I checked my email and I had nothing now. I was like, ah, check my junk, found it. Um, no definite date, full list of work of what they've still got to complete there, which is wicked. So we know clearly what needs to be done. Uh, Monday, I'm going to get a date of when it's going to be done because they need to speak to the suppliers about the flyovers that need to get made. So, all right, there we go. Right, we're on to good works. Now, I don't know if this is going to disconnect you, but I'm going to see if the charger, uh, wireless charging works. If it does work, then you might disconnect. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> let me stop recording a sec. Don't worry about it. It works. All right, proud moment of the day. I am switching off the light. That's a really cool mood lighting, isn't it? Rather than putting on like my actual full lights at night, like when I'm just like chilling sort of thing, even though I don't relax in the same room, like say if I'm just like working on behind the scenes shit, just kicking it with the uh, on air sign. You cannot see it on this camera at all. It's just so blown out. But when you switch it all off, Look, oh, 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 that looks so sick, all oh, that chroma. When I get the, um, the what's it called, the speakers put in as well. Holy sh**, that'll look even better. All chroma, everything. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Oh, my God. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this vlog right here, right now, because a very tired Tom has woke up to record this to send it, yeah? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, ring, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7pm-ish for the next day of the vlog. So much, so much love to you guys.